In this video, I would like to show you a simple trick on Gen2 Linux. This trick is not a part of the standard installation procedure or guide. So if you're new to Gen2 Linux, you're definitely welcome. And this trick will prolong the lifespan of your SSD. And if you're using a regular hard drive, it will most likely increase or speed up your emerge times as well. And the entire point of this trick is to tell Portage to compile all of our packages uh, using RAM instead of writing it on our regular drives and that can bring the aforementioned benefits that I talked about a few seconds ago. So let's get straight into that. Just bear in mind that this trick will only work or be useful to you if you have uh, a sufficient amount of RAM. So I would definitely recommend to have at least 8 gigs of RAM, bare minimum, if you want to pull it off. If you're running low on RAM, it's probably better to distribute all of that compilation work using our software such as DCC or something like that. So to tell Portage to use RAM instead of writing it onto our regular drives, we will add this simple line uh, into the etsy slash fstab file. In order to pull it off, we need root privileges. Most of you will probably use sudo or duas or something like that. And I'm going to echo, uh, I'm going to type in double quotes as well, this entire line into the etsy slash fstab file. The size parameter should be adjusted to fit your system. If you have 8 gigs of RAM on your system, Dedicating 4 gigs to the temporary file system is quite a lot, okay, but it can be done. Obviously, if you have, for example, 16 gigs of RAM or 32, then you can increase the number to 8 or to 16 and stuff like that. Uh, the larger the size, the better the chance that the package is going to compile correctly. As I said, some of the packages require a big chunk of memory, uh, such as Qt Web Engine. MySQL and stuff like that. So obviously the more memory you have, uh, the better the chance of compiling all of these heavy packages correctly. If you don't have enough memory, it's just not going to emerge at all. It's going to throw an error, uh, in which case you will have to adjust some portage files. And I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to exclude those heavy packages from using the temporary file system. So after deciding what the appropriate size for your system should be, uh, we are just going to press enter. And at this point, we're all done and we can reboot our system and it will work normally. And in case you had any questions, just let me know down in the comment section below.